This is your boy Rod Howe and today we'll be discussing why you should be financially compensated for any work that you do related to your artistic talents and abilities. Let's talk about it. Alright guys, so use your imagination for me for just a moment. Let's pretend that your boss calls you and your boss asks you to work both of your off days during a work week and they tell you that you're not going to be paid for your time. They tell you that it's optional if you work, you won't be penalized or anything if you don't do it, but they do want you to come in and work on those days and you're not going to be paid. I think that most of you guys' response would probably be something similar to this right here. Hell no, to the no, 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 no. Are you guys see me dancing, see my dancing finger? I think a lot of you guys probably be using a different finger when you did that dance if your boss asked you to come in and work for free. The reality is, even if you love your job, you would probably say no. So for the same reason you would say no to that, you should probably be saying no to accepting jobs using your artistic abilities for free. I have to be honest, this is a topic that I've struggled with myself for the last few years. Discussing money is awkward, but it's something that has to be done in order for you to thrive as an artist. What I've done today is compiled a short list to remind you guys why you should be getting paid for your artistic talents and ability. So let's talk about them. One of the first mistakes that I see a lot of creatives do that keep themselves from getting financially compensated for their work is the doubt that they have in themselves. I can think of numerous occasions when I've missed out on paying opportunities because I felt like maybe I wasn't good enough to actually do the work. I know that a lot of people will probably be upset with me for saying this, but I happen to believe that regardless of where your skill level is, you're warranted of demanding a paycheck for your work if you feel confident enough in your abilities. The reality is the potential client that's reaching out to you about doing creative work either does not possess the creative ability or they don't have the time to actually do the work themselves so they're reaching out to you so you're good enough to do the work. You should be getting paid for work related to your artistic talents and abilities also because you are providing a service. It doesn't matter whether you're designing flyers, it doesn't matter whether you're a singer or a live performer or a videographer, you're providing a service to someone. Think about it like this. If you're a graphic designer and you design a business card for someone or you design a flyer, that client is going to use that material to make money. If you're a singer and you go to a club and you go sing at a venue, the promoter's going to make money, the house is going to make money, everybody's going to be collecting a paycheck but you if you don't talk about finance. Another reason that you should be paid for your work is that you have to buy equipment to do whatever it is you do. And that equipment is not free. If I use videography for myself for an example, think about it. I have to pay for cameras, I have to pay for lenses, I have to pay for lights, I have to pay for tripods, sliders. Regardless of what your craft is, nine times a 10, you're going to have tons of essential equipment that you need to be able to effectively pursue your craft. If I go to Bedford right now and I say, hey man, can I get a camera for free because I do work for free, they're not going to give it to me for free. So you have got to drive in a revenue so that you can buy equipment that allows you to follow your dreams the way you want to. You should be getting paid for your work because whenever you go out and you work for free, you're kind of devaluing your brand, your talents, and your abilities when you do this. Think about it like this. If I go out and I do $500 worth of video work for someone and I only charge them $30, when someone else sees their work and they ask them, man, that dude's good, man. How much did he charge you? They're going to say $30. If you get into the habit of doing this on a consistent basis, you're going to hurt your brand and you could even be hurting your earning potential within your market. One of the most important reasons you should be getting paid for your artistic talents and abilities is if you plan on making this a full-time job. If it is your dream to make a living off of your talents and abilities, then you have to be able to drive in some form of revenue to live off. Only way that's going to happen is if you charge for your work. It seriously gets to the point where as a creative you have to make a decision. Is creating something that you want to do for fun in your free time and you really don't want to worry about money? Or is it something that you really want to pursue full time? If it's something that you want to do full time, it's going to be very important that you get to the point that you're driving in revenue from your work. I know a lot of people are going to be watching this and they're going to say, dang, right? you don't believe in doing any work for free? And that's not true. I think that doing free work can be a really great thing if it's done in the right way. I think that doing free work is cool whenever you're working on something that you're passionate about 
or if you're doing it for a good cause like a charity or a church. I think the free work is also cool whenever you're in a bartering type situation. Like maybe if I'm good friends with the graphic designer, he does graphic work for me and he needs somebody to do video work for something, we can do trades. I think that doing free work is excellent if someone's taking you on as an apprentice or you're going through some type of internship and you're getting the ability to learn a new skill. I think that it's cool to do jobs for free if there's going to be a chance that you get really large exposure from working on a project. Oftentimes when it comes to music, I'm pretty flexible about going out and performing because the reality is, if somebody asked me to come play for like 10 or 15 minutes and I'm getting a chance to play in front of people that have never heard of me before, I think that it would be kind of silly of me not to take advantage of opportunities like that. If there's a chance for great exposure or to seal the deal and get a great opportunity, by working free, I say go for it. Hopefully by watching this vlog today, it gives some of you guys the confidence to go ahead and start asking people to pay you what you think your work is worth. Remember, regardless of what skill level you're at, you possess something that no one else has. You possess your own style and perspective that's definitely worth something. So if you choose to charge people for your work, you're talented and gifted enough to do so in confidence. So the next time somebody comes to you and they ask, can you design my party fly for the free? Hell no. Can you shoot me a music video? I'm working with a budget of like $20. Hell no. Hey man, you need to go and hook me up with some studio time for the free. Hell no. To the no, no. All in all, how do you guys feel about charging for your work? Do you feel like there's some jobs you should do for free? Do you feel like you should always charge? So please, send me a comment, send me a message, like, share. Uh, yeah, see you guys next time.